Welcome everybody to Trousers from Scratch. We are doing front pockets today in part 5 of our series. Okay, we're making front pockets, so take out your pattern part A, which is um, the front trouser block. I have both of them here on top of each other. This is the left side, I marked it with an L, and um, there's a zip drawn in it. If you have the zip drawn correctly, you just don't need to mark an L, but I am an idiot and I drew a zip on both sides. That's why I put an R here. This side should have no zip because it's the right hand side, there's no zip on the right hand side. So the only difference between these two is that um, the pocket back is longer on the side, on the right hand side where there is no zip. That's because the pocket back will come from the pocket here, will go up and then it will extend. And on the left side with the zip, it will be caught in this seam. So it sort of stops here with some seam allowance. However, on the other side, It comes from the pocket and goes up and it goes all the way to there to get caught in that seam. So the pocket bags for the right hand side are of the longer variety, whereas the pocket bags for the left hand side are the shorter variety. So I'm going to put away this left and I'm going to start with the right side and longer variety of pocket bags. So these are our front pocket bags. We get a front and a back side for um, each side of the leg. Um, the front has this side cut off for the sand pocket and as you can see we have two shorter varieties and then we have two longer varieties. So these long varieties go on the ref right leg, the short varieties go on the left leg. We're going to start with the right leg so the short ones we're going to put them away from now. This is what we'll be working with. While we're constructing the front pockets we're also going to be putting in the front lining which is this piece and just wanted to make sure that you had the opportunity to cut this size with pinking shears, so you have these little triangles there. If you didn't get to do that, or if you don't have pinking shears, you can either try to make those cuts yourself, or just apply a quick zigzag stitch there. Let's start putting a few things together. I've got the right leg of my trousers here, and bad side up, so the inside of the fabric upwards, the side with the markings. On top of that, I put the lining of the front leg. So just align it. There we go. On top of my uh, leg and my leg lining, I'm going to put the pocket back. Now, you want the pocket back that is long, that reaches all the way to the seam there, and that has this corner cut away. So not the other variety, um, which has this part. Just put all of those on top of each other. So we got the actual leg part. On top of that, we got the lining. On top of that, we've got our pocket back, as you can see. When you've got these three pieces on top of each other, put in a few pins to keep them from moving around. Next up, take this cutaway part of your trousers and fold it back so that you have a 3 centimeter, three centimeter fold there. So this should be 3 centimeters. When you got that folded the way you like it, press it in place. Once that's pressed back the way you like it, pin all layers together. I'm going to top stitch this along here, putting those three parts together. Make sure to go straight. Whilst, while sewing the seam, make sure not to pull your fabric, um, because if you pull it, your fabric will stretch, and then that will lead to gaping pockets. You don't want gaping pockets. There we go. After your top stitching, press as usual. Now that we've done our top stitching, we need to lock this edge of the fabric so to keep it from raveling. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put a zigzag stitch all the way around here, 
But of course, if we would do that here, it would show on the good side of our trousers. We don't want that. So we're going to do this zigzag stitch through this layer of fabric, through this pocket bag, through this lining, but not through this layer, right? So just take it, open it up like that. And this is how we'll be zigzagging, like that. There's no need to pin this in place because it's sewn there so it can't really go anywhere. Just put it on your machine like this and go with the zigzag. Make sure to catch one side of your zigzag in this seam allowance of the, of the trouser fabric and the other side over the edge in the lining. Lift with your needle inside, rotate around your needle, just keep going. When that's done, be good and press again. We zigzagged around this edge, and then on the other side, it's just a clean top stitching. This is the side piece, part C. This is the good side, bad side up. Put it in place like this, where it's supposed to go, matching the side seam and the top. Then put in back, then put in place the second half of your pocket bag. Now remember, we're doing the right leg, so the pocket bag with the extension. On the other leg, use the other one. Put it in place on top of the side piece. And then pin the pocket bag that you just put in place, pin that to the side piece. So what I do, I have this on my ironing board, I just put a pin through, through the fabric and through the fabric of my ironing board and the cushioning. That way I know it will stay in place so I can pin it without worrying that it will move. Move these pins. And I now have the front, the side piece pinned to my pocket bag. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to zigzag around here as we did for the other side of the bag. So catch the zigzag stitch as much as you can in this fabric just over the edge so that this is nicely finished. Rotate with your needle inside the fabric in the corner. Back, back, yes. There we go. Looks like this from the back. We have sewn and pressed our side piece to the top of our pocket bag. Now, with the side piece down, place this half of the top of the bag, pocket bag on the other half, align it nicely, and then we're going to pin both halves of the pocket bag together. When you get it pinned in place, what we're going to do now is we're going to be sewing the pocket bag close. We don't sew this because that will be called in another seam. Same for this, will be called the waistband. So it's this curved line here that we're going to be closing up all the way up until the side point, the side piece. Be careful at the end. Don't sew anything shut you don't want to, we don't cut into anything you don't want to. When you've done your pocket, press it.
We've pinned it together now. This is what our front pocket looks like. Put a pin there and there and then here too, but most importantly along this line. This is our front pocket from the front. As you can see, it's just a slant with that top stitching line is there and then here you can enter the pocket. It's been closed now obviously. It looks good. It lies flat on the inside. It's neatly finished. This is be what the inside of our trousers looks like. It's fine. Um, that's it. Our front pockets are done. Clean from the outside, nicely finished from the inside. Exactly what we wanted. This is it for part 5 from Trousers from Scratch. I hope to see you in the next part. Hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, maybe you can leave a comment. Or not. But it would be nice.